Good evening. The fire destroyed two apartments and damaged others. Behind me, you can see the cleanup is underway. Residents have taken out some of the damaged furniture. They're pumping out some of the water that was used during the firefight. Some families don't understand why the fire department allowed them back into their homes after the initial fire call, only to have the flames break out again. In the early morning hours, just after midnight, Phoenix firefighters appeared to have things under control. But by 7.30 this morning, everything changed for people living in these apartments on Mountain View near Cave Creek Road. I could have died from this fire. Lori Colsty says she awoke to a fireball in her apartment hours after firefighters had let her back in. I met at City of Phoenix because they were out here once. Now they're out here twice and I've lost everything. When they told me that my apartment was fine, that they had the fire under control. The fire started in the apartment next to hers, a small fire on an outdoor patio upstairs that firefighters quickly put out. Protocol was followed. Captain Rob McDade says they checked for signs of spread with special cameras and didn't find any. They also launched a fire watch, meaning crews returned to the apartments every 90 minutes to make sure there were no flare ups. They got a handle on it early at 1230 in the morning. Uh, they put the fire watches in place, uh, so for them to come back to have their apartment on fire uh, was not only a surprise, but it's, uh, it's disappointing. Crews were able to reunite some worried residents with their pets. Thank God my babies are safe. But Lori Colsty thinks the fire should have ended the first time around. I think City of Phoenix should be liable for the second fire because they were... 100% those flames were out. I had to wake up again, like I said, to a big ball of fire in my bedroom and smoke everywhere. We just got an update from Phoenix Fire. They tell us the second fire is not considered suspicious. At this point, they still don't know exactly how it reignited, but one of the working theories is that an ember got into the attic. I'm Derek Stahl for Arizona's Family.